Good afternoon, and today we're going to talk about our home brewing bottles. So, if you have a five gallon home brew kit that you've been working on at home, uh, after it ferments, you need to bottle it. And what better way to bottle it than put it in 12 ounce bottles? Now, if you go to your home brew store, uh, you'll find that they charge you about $15 a case. You buy them online, they're about $12 a case plus at least $12 in shipping. So what I do is I scrounge from family and friends and I also went to my local beverage center and asked them to buy a couple of cases of these bottles. Once I do that, however, usually from the home set, brew center or from my neighbors, they always have the label on and most of the time they have something growing on the inside because they aren't washed out very well. So what we're going to go over today is that the easiest and quickest way I found to take labels off and clean these bottles and that is use a little bit of OxyClean in a five gallon bucket with some super hot water and let them sit for about 15-20 minutes and then the labels pop off and that mold floats right out of them. You can also use a bottle brush. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do here is take a scoop of my OxyClean Put it down into my bucket, start a little water, probably want hot water that helps it work a little quicker. This is what I regularly clean my bottles out with. I'm going to get my OxyClean going in there. Okay, I'm going to let that bucket fill up to five gallons and then we'll be back to put in our bottles. Alright, so our bucket's almost full. And I'm going to start putting my bottles in here. Typically, I um, toss those in here and let them fill up. Because I also want this OxyClean to get down inside my bottle to clean out any mold or anything that's grown with dirty bottles. Um, this usually, I usually don't bottle brush these afterwards. You can if it's really built up, but. For the most part, these things are going to sit in OxyClean for the next 15-20 minutes, super hot water, and any mold or anything like that just lifts right out of them. Super easy. So with that, we'll put all our bottles in here, turn our water off, put all our bottles in here. Usually you can put about eh, 15 bottles in, 12, in, in 5 gallons, but I have... Uh, I have about a dozen bottles here, so I don't, I don't have that many bottles to clean. I already cleaned a bunch. I try to get them standing straight up in the water. We'll give this uh, about 20 minutes, and then we'll be back to see how our labels peel right off and clean right up. Okay, so we got about 20 minutes, 25 minutes since we filled the bucket with water, OxyClean in bottles. Um, I got myself a little sponge I bought in the grocery store. Um, now we're going to just take out these bottles and we're going to peel the labels off. So the labels come right off. No big thing. A little glue residue on here. Um, the longer you let them sit, the easier the glue comes off, but that's what the sponge is for. Sponge. Right. All the rinse them out, rinse them off, soap out of them. Brand new bottle ready for refilling in your homebrew. Sam Adams bottle, same thing. Labels come right off. Careful, they do get a little slippery with the OxyClean. Get my sponge here, clean them up. Before you know it, you've got two dozen clean bottles ready to be sanitized so you can fill them with your homebrew. 